More on our Ask Dirk segment now. Here's Deirdre, Chris, and Dirk. And donuts. Yes. Donuts. Most importantly. Well, each week on Thursday, we ask you about our weather questions. People email them in. What's our question today? Our question today comes from Justin in Sacramento, and he asks, what is cloud seeding? And is cloud seeding something that's still done today? Okay. So first of all, let's go ahead and go over to the explanation of what is cloud seeding. And for that, let's go over to the monitor. And uh, we have a cloud... I believe. <laughs> maybe we do, maybe we don't. We do? Oh, it's there. Oh, okay, it's full screen. I was expecting it to be in the monitor. I'm sorry. So here's our cloud. Cloud seeding is uh, what happens is you need a cloud to do cloud seeding. And uh, what's going on, if you could do the clicker over there, Eileen. There we go. I <laughs> forgot. The, I forgot. She's, She's eating oatmeal. I forgot the clicker, but this is it. She's okay. a little busy. <laughs> Typically, what you need. <laughs> Okay, you go. See, I'll it's go. Going. I'll show you. We do this. We can we can coordinate ourselves. Well, what you need is a cloud, of course, to do cloud seeding, and you need to have the water droplets. Now, you have two different types of cloud seeding. There's the warm cloud seeding and the cold cloud seeding. Warm cloud seeding, you need uh, water droplets, and they can be above freezing. Cold cloud seeding, which is actually the more typical type of cloud seeding that occurs, uh, you need temperatures of those water droplets. They're still liquid that will be below freezing. Kind of think of that. Okay, they're they're freezing temperatures, but they haven't frozen. And so this is a super cool water that's up in the uh, tops of the cloud. Next, we need to seed the cloud. Well, what we do there is we have to uh, get the uh, well, seeds up in the cloud. And for that, we have our Wright Brothers flyer that's going to be flying through and uh, it's going to seed the clouds. Now, what is it going to be seeding those clouds with? Well, there's three different things that are typically used for seeding. You have silver iodide that's used for cold cloud seeding, dry ice that is also used for cold cloud seeding, and then salt which is used for warm cloud seeding. Now how does this work? Well what happens is you have that little particle that uh, comes through the cloud, whether it be silver iodide, dry ice, or salt, and it goes through the water droplets. The white dot is silver iodide, which when it touches the water droplet, it actually starts the freezing process. So it enhances the freezing, it just triggers that little water droplet to freeze, and then you have the formation of snowflakes. Now, if this is a grain of salt or a piece of salt or a molecule of salt, it's going to attract the water droplets. It's called a hygroscopic particle, and it attracts the water particles. And if we can continue forward here, you'll see those little water particles just wanting to glom on to that salt crystal, and that conduces uh, the uh, formation of raindrops in the cloud. You have uh, coalescence and you have the, con the collisions that take place inside the cloud. And so that's what takes place and that is what cloud seeding is. And a, a result, of course, is that we see snow in the cold cloud seeding and we have rain in the warm cloud seeding. So that's the explanation that we have. Now let's go over to the demonstration that we have. And what we have going on here is I've actually made some um, little balls of uh, dough here. And I'm not a chef, so, um, but I'm <laughs> trying to be. And uh, I roll it up. What I do is I take the little biscuits, cut them up in quarters, put them in the oil. This is just some Crisco. Leave it in there for a while. And now this is going to be my grain of salt. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a warm cloud seeding. So Deirdre, if you can take some of those ice crystals that we have over here, or in the snow crystal, or salt crystals, I should say, right here. You have our cloud. We are going to take, Chris, take those right there. Pick them up. I mean, I'll take I'll a big drop. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready this go. is our cloud. You're the flyer, and you're flying over the cloud, dropping. No, the cloud's not flying. Oh, sorry. But I like the special effects. Scratch that. <laughs> but the cloud is shaking it up, 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 shaking it up. And what it is, again, this is warm cloud seeding, so all those water droplets are glomming on to the salt crystals that are in there. And so then we get the results. Uh, it rains. Donuts. It rains donuts. Yes. Yay. That one looks particularly good. Wow. That one looks really good that right is. there. Well, um, weather could be so tasty? So that's the demonstration. Again, at any time you can coordinate science and food, you've got something. And so I'm trying to do a little bit of that. Of course, this isn't an exact representation, but it sure I tastes get it. better. It makes sense to me. Yeah. And you would use this in, in response to, like, for ski resorts, right? Ski resorts, you could do it for uh, reducing hail. They've tried it on hurricanes to modify hurricanes to reduce wow. the intensity of hurricanes. They use it for cleaning the air. In fact, an interesting fact is in the 2008 games that are going to be taking place in Beijing, the Chinese are actually going to be shooting rockets mm -hmm. to cause the rain to help clear the air before the Olympics. Wow. They're trying to do anything They're trying to they do anything and everything. Their air is nasty. Yeah, and so that's something that's interesting. And that's if I have a question place. for you, Dirk, where do I send it? You can send it to uh, Morning News at KCRA.com and just ask your question and courtesy of or care of uh, Dirk Verdorn and I'll get it on the air as soon as I can. Great. Right. Next week we want hot dogs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Dirk, thanks. Thank As you. always, educational.